only, they asked me if I want to go first. I said that's perfect because then I can say everything else the first time so I'm not repeating everybody else. <laughs> so, but I am, since I'm a pastor and I'm at a, 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 a different church, I'm going to start with taking an offering. <laughs> uh, so if you make your checks out to Consume International Ministries, we are always raising money for something. <laughs> so, uh, no, but seriously, uh, Lance and Missy, uh, I've known you for a long time when I started going to church. Uh, at Tabernacle, and my mom was helping with kids' church. You were actually in charge at that time, and uh, years ago, that's how long it's been. And uh, now I'm saying you're older than there. But uh, and I remember that y'all were always around and helping, and and I was just kind of the straggler. I, I rode the bus with my mom, uh, and I was always there early, and, and always there late. And I wrote it, and I felt like I was the only white kid that was ever on the bus. <laughs> and I sat up front because I was scared. I'm like, I don't know what these kids are going to do to me. But uh, you always, uh, growing up, I know I was a handful. Uh, my mom still tells me that to this day. Uh, but she, uh, uh, I was glad that she took me and, and brought me with her because I felt uh, involved. And you always, you always kept me involved and kept me interested in the things that, I, in, that you were doing. Uh, and I looked up to you. I remember when Missy was still cutting hair. I remember she dyed your hair blonde, the top of it, and I thought it was the coolest thing. So the next week, I went and dyed my hair blonde. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, and it, it was like a, the big church wave. Like a bunch of kids started doing the church. And uh, but uh, and it, but I looked up to you, and I remember watching you uh, play church softball when I was younger. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna be cool like Lance Bondell. And then I got older and I figured out that you weren't really cool. So, uh, so uh, now I'm trying to be cool like Pastor Jamie here. But, uh, uh, no, it's funny because me and Corey, uh, the pastor, our pastor, were talking about this, asked me to speak. And, uh, and I said, I just want me to get up there and talk about him and everything else. He says, well, what are you going to talk about? And I said, I said, really don't know. I said, I've, I've had a lot of memories over the years with him and stuff like that. One of the best ones is I remember him and uh, him and Pastor Corey on a revival service with Robbie Mitchell. They were slow dancing right here. I don't know if anybody who was here and remembers that, but they were slow dancing right in the middle of the stage. I mean, in the, in the altar here. And uh, and I didn't notice it at first. And we were riding home and Corey goes, hey, man, I got a question. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, it didn't look like me and Pastor Lance were dancing. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, man, we was all close and hugging. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I kind of did. And it was funny, but, and we were joking about it later. Uh, but uh, I was thinking about what I was going to say, and uh, I didn't want to drag it out or anything like that. But I did want to show you a video. Uh, and this video is proof, uh, and it kind of shows you what your pastor does when he's not an actual pastor. Uh, <laughs> I always wondered, even when I was growing up, you know, hey, what do these pastors do when they're not preaching the Word of God? You know, that's what you see them doing, and you say, okay, this is what these pastors do on Sundays, or, you know, maybe Wednesdays, or, or something like that, or, you know, maybe during revival. But what do they do in their own life? What do they do? And I found footage of what Pastor Lance actually does outside of this church. And so if y'all would turn your eyes to this screen and see what he does.
Good time that I remember with Lance, and that's what a lot of it was when I was around him. He's always a fun guy to be around, and to be a part of his life has been a pleasure. And I thank you for uh, being the role model that I'm able to look up to as I grow, and even now that I've become a youth pastor, I still look to you for guidance and, and help. So I thank you both, Pastor and Lance, and this team. 